Hello, fourth year. How are you today? I hope you are happy, fine, relaxed. Yes, uh, today is Thursday, the 25th of June. Yes, okay. Um, we are going to check pages. Yes, we are going to continue with units uh, finished, unit seven. Yes, okay. And we are going to check pages 52, 54 and 55 for the activity book. We are going to work today on pages 86, 87, 88 and 92. Uh, we are going to um, give, uh, prefer, I'd prefer, I'd rather, yes, description of a place, yes. We are going to highlight, you are going to highlight all the grammar charts, all the keywords, and you are going to write all the examples with the grammar. You have a note, yes, next class, yes, you are going to have the review of unit 7. As a homework, you will do ex uh, pages 56, exercise 4, 57, exercises 1 and 2, 58 and 59 from the activity book, and you are going to write a description of your neighborhood, 120 words, PDF, PDF, exercise 7 from page 89 from the class book. Shall we start? All right. Yes, let's check the pages. All right. Good, good, good. There we are. Okay. Page 54. All right. Number one. Blocks. No, 52. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. Number one. Blocks. Residence, public transport, number four, atmosphere, number five, skate, oh, my, my, my favorite word, sky crappers, crappers, yes, financial, and build up, yes. Number two, used to, can replace the past simple in sentences one, two, and four, and five. Yes, okay? Good. I need to... Sky profits. Sky profits. Yes, okay? Well, um... Ah, today we are also going to revive world building. Yes, we have world building too. Yes. War building, we have war building too. Esto no sale en la foto pizarra porque saqué antes, así que le agregan ustedes, chicos. Sí, war building. Yes, okay. Well, um, okay. Well, so we have number one blocks, number two residence, number three public transport, number four atmosphere, number five skyscrapers, financial, number seven build up. Number two, use two can replace, can replace this, the past simple in sentences one, two, four, and five. Exercise three. This area didn't used to have so many skyscrapers. Skyscrapers, skyscrapers. Yes, sky de cielo. Yes, okay. Acá cielo. Okay, before. Sky, sky, skyscraper. Sky, sky. sky <laughs> Se me traba la lengua, I'm sorry. Sky, skyscrapers, yes, okay. Skyscraper, yes, pronuncialo vos bien, eh. The pollution here used to be much worse than it, it is now. Four, the atmosphere didn't used to be so relaxed in the past. Imagine uh, in phonetics. Uh, phonetics at the teacher training college, the first uh, phonetic was very difficult, yes, because we had to um, uh, get used to uh, uh, doing all the transcriptions, yes, okay, and 
Oh my God, listen, we used to practice uh, phonetics with the cassettes, yes? And you have, to, you have to listen to the cassette every day, almost the 24 hours, yes? Because in the test, um, you have to reproduce, oh my God, the same as in the cassette, yes? But my teacher at that moment was very strict, so thanks God, yes, okay? Well, so it, made me, it makes me laugh when I can't uh, pronounce this skyscraper. Yes, okay. Well, number four, this is by the way. And then my fear, number four, the atmosphere didn't used to be so relaxed in the past. Number five, there didn't used to be as many crowded neighborhoods. Yes, okay. Good. Number four, good can be replaced used to in sentences two and five. Yes, okay, is it clear? Number five, when I was young, we lived next to my school. Two, my friends and I could play in the street. Three, there was a lot of traffic along this road. Four, I didn't like my neighbors. Five, we couldn't go out, we couldn't go out if it was raining. Done. Okay, page 40, 54. Yes, okay, number one, true, number two, true, number three, false, number four, false, okay? Number uh, two, they left to move the cities to cities or to other countries. Number two, they were looking for a place where they could, where they could live better than in their large German city. Three, some wanted to live more peacefully, some more cheaply or less stressfully. Yes, okay, you have stress, stressfully. Yes, stressful, stress, stressful, stressfully. You have the noun, yes, the adjective and the adverb. This is war building. They grow food, make things to sell locally, some also work in regular jobs. Uh, uh, number three. Tony works harder than Sandra. My parents cook better than me. Tony doesn't drive as carefully as Sandra, as advert Sandra. Andrew didn't pass his exam as easily as Brian. I didn't uh, write as quickly as you do. Okay, my brother speaks English worse than my sister. Most pe I can't cook as deliciously as David. As David, uh, no, as delicious, no, uh, not delicious. I as quickly as David. Yes, okay, I'm slower. Most people can't run as fast as Usain, Usain Bolt. Hmm. Number four. The more active I am, the happier I am. Yes. Two, it's getting bigger and bigger. Four, three, more and more quickly. The bigger, the flat, the better it is. It's getting more and more untidy. Farther and farther. Yes, and that's all from the activity book. So let's go very quickly to pages 86, 87, 88 and 92. Why don't you put the date, please? Put the date. All right, there we are. So it says, can we go? Good. It says sweet songs and strong coffee. And you have to read uh, sweet songs and strong coffee the text you have there, and uh, think of one word, one word, one word, no world, yes, one word to describe your hometown, yes, okay, one word, quiet, yes, okay, uh, think about one word that describes Formosa, yes, okay, good. Um, number two, read the article about town, a town in Puerto Rico. What is the article mainly about? Daily life and work, festivals and holidays, 
people and traditions, okay? Then in exercise three, which paragraph, paragraph gives information about? A, B, C, D, okay? And then exercise five, what do you think adjuntas, adjuntas as a, play, a place to live or a place to go on holiday? Yes, okay. If you would like, if you would like to go there, yes or no, and why yes, why not? Okay. I well, we are going to talk about the text first, and then we are going to talk about the, the, the place and everything. Yes. Okay. So remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then and then listen to the answers. Okay. So did you think about a word that describes Formosa green? Yes, because Formosa is green, yes. Uh, quiet, what else could be? Um, melancholic can be, yes, okay. No, 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 melancholic or no? It, charming, yes, because for example, the riverside is charming, yes, okay. So I want you to think more words, yes, from there. And, uh, one word that can describe Formosa, yes? Okay. Yes, good. Uh, well, exercise 2C, yes, it's about people and traditions. Uh, then we have exercise 3, yes, 3A, B4, A3, B4, C2, and D1. Yes, okay? Do all the readings. Don't just uh, listen to the answers and... Yes, do all the activities with the reading. Because if you don't do the activities, um, the, the action, the activity of not having done uh, all the readings will be reflected in your tests. Is it clear? Good, well done. So pay attention now. Um, would you like to leave? Well, first of all, I want you to highlight all these words in the text. Okay, uh, you know, of course, grammar charts and everything might, must be highlighted. Yes, but I want you to highlight dreamy, Development, successful, reforestation, electricity, traditional. Yes, okay, lo otro no, porque es lo de la teacher que cuando estudio, oh, when I study, I highlight everything, the text and everything. Yes, yeah. okay. Uh, you know, you have the word, the word dream. Yes, okay, dream. So this is a dreamy. It has a dreamy atmosphere. Yes, you know you have the word dream. That, uh, what kind of word is dream? It's a noun. And from a noun, yes, we have the word dreamy. And what kind of word is when we add the I there? Is It becomes an adjective, okay? From a noun to an adjective. Yes, okay, success, success, yes, it's another uh, adjective, it's another noun, and if you, yes, okay, good, if you are uh, at full, yes, okay, it becomes, It becomes, yes, an adjective. This is a noun. Yes, suffixes there. Okay. They become adjective. Yes, okay. Uh, reforest is a, 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 a verb. Yes. This is a verb. and it becomes a noun yes okay is it clear so you know this is word building 
So I want you to put all the word building in your cuaderno from la A a la Z. Yes? Is it clear? Yes? Okay. In your notebook, from vocabulary book, let's call it. Okay? And then you have uh, electric, electricity. Yes? Okay? Tradition, traditional. Yes? So, would you like to uh, go to this dreamy place? I would like to go, yes, because I want to um, uh, know this culture, yes, the traditions there, yes, and the music, you know, there is a man there, yes, if you have to describe the picture, you can see uh, the city, the mountains in the background, yes, and a little shop where people from the place get together, yes, so I would like to know uh, this shop and I would like to go there because there is a man yes okay I don't remember uh, his name but I think he's um, I uh, is wait 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 this is Tato Ramos Tato Ramos and he's a singer he's a local uh, singer yes so if you go there yes and you say for example uh, you had a problem with your boyfriend, boyfriend or girlfriend, he is going to make up a song for you and he's going to improvise a song for you, yes, if you tell him about your problem, yes, did you read that part? So I would like to go there, yes, okay, it says, um, blah, 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 so it says, Ramos improvised songs on topics requested requested by shop customers this is a forgotten art yes so people give him a topic and he composes yes he composes a song for you yes of course with uh, rhymes and everything yes but I would like to go there yes because it caught my attention when I read this text and of course to, to drink some um, coffee because I, coffee is oh my god it's very nice yes and of course uh, Puerto Rico has a lot of beautiful places to visit, okay? Well, so remember that uh, I want you to write all the word building, yes, okay? In this part of, um, in this part of the book, yeah, in this part of the book, you have a uh, pronoun to adjective, but of course, Yes, we have many, uh, we have from verbs, yes, okay, from verbs, yes, to noun, yes, okay, so this is word building, yes, okay, so you have from adjective to noun, so you have careless, careless, carelessness, yes, y ahora vamos un sustantivo abstracto. Yes, different, difference, yes, hungry, hunger, yes, is it clear, harmful, harm, difficult, the most, co the most common, difficult, difficult, elegant, elegant, so I want you to choose some words from here and I want you to write in your notebook, yes, don't choose the, the, the difficult difficulty, but danger, dangerous, dangerous, energetic, energy, yes, healthy, health. I want you to choose and I want you to put in your cuaderno from la A la Z, from A to Z, yes, the most, the most uh, difficult for you and I want you to put, for example, um, healthy, health. And you write in the age, en la H, te vas a escribir, yes, okay, and you're going to write one example, okay, is it clear? Yes or no? All right, so, um, why? Because, um, you know, we have some exercises in the, in the test, in the final test that you have to what you have to complete 
yes, making any necessary changes, okay, using world building, world building, yes, is it clear? So, uh, I want you to describe in your home where you will describe your neighborhood, yes, okay, you're going to use 150 wo 120 words, yes, okay, um, this is for next class, the homework will be for next class, okay, and you are going to introduce some words from this chart, okay, is it clear? Good. All right, there we are. Uh, 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 I'm making some notes. Okay. Good. Well, so is it clear? So, I, for example, I have to fill in an application form to work in that institution. This animal is in danger of extinction. Teacher Root is a very energetic teacher. Um, my daughter is <laughs> careless. Okay? Uh, I'm dying of hunger. I'm very hungry. Yes? This is... Um, the, I like this grammar. Yes? This, uh, these texts are grammatical incorrect, yes, ok, grammatically incorrect, ahí teníamos, acá tenemos otro más, grammatical, yes, grammar, grammatically, yes, ok, is it clear, good, uh, ahí necesitamos esa frase, un adjective, yes, we need an adjective, uh, what else, well, The princess of Spain, Leticia, is a very elegant woman. Elegance is in her. Yes, ok? Is it clear? Good. Acordate que los sustantivos abstractos no llevan la de adelante. Yes, ok? Is it clear? Elegance, yes. Anxiety. Anxiety is killing me. I want to know all the results from the final exam. Yes? Is it clear? So, you are going to go to exercise uh, 5. You are going to check exercise 5. Yes? Okay? Uh, exercise 7. Perdón. Exercise 7. Okay? Do it. I will say the, the, the answers, but remember you have to do the activities first. Pause. Yes, pause the video and then listen to the answers, ¿ok? Seguimos con muchas ganas, ¿sí? Después de los resultados del de pre-exam, seguimos con muchas ganas. Vamos a seguir puliendo esas cosas. Vos en casa seguís puliendo todo lo que no hiciste hasta ahora, lo tenés que hacer. Y lo que hiciste mal o lo que venías haciendo flojo, lo tenés que enfatizar para mejorar todos esos puntos flojos en los que ya te corregimos para el, el pre-exam, ¿ok? El, no pre exam, the global exam, okay? Is it clear? So let's go to, um, remember you have to make own examples in your notebook from A to Z, yes, okay? With word building. And then go to exercise seven. O primero hacer seven y después te haces eso más tranquilo en casa. This is up to you, okay? Yo ya voy a ir viendo las cositas que fueron haciendo cuando nos encontremos, ¿ok? Is it clear? Right. Good, good, good. So let's go to exercise 7. Energetic, coastal, coastal part. Yes, ¿ok? Central, beneficial, natural, economic, and economy, economic, and historic. Yes, ¿ok? So, uh, exercise 11. Yes, it's for talking. Yes, you have to choose a place. Yes, where you know. Yes, that you know. And you have to um, say the best things to see, the best things to do, and the best places to eat. Okay? For example, if you have to say, describe Formosa, what's, uh, what is the best, things to, the best things to see here? Well, here, in the capital, I mean, uh, 
the riverside, yes, for me, yes, the riverside, um, walk along the riverside, um, the best, the best thing to do, walk along the riverside, yes, I'm not talking about Bañado la Estrella and everything, because you can do many things, but here in the capital, uh, go fishing, uh, go sailing, Yes, along the Paraguay Riverside. Um, yes, well, um, the best places to eat. I don't go out a lot here. I do it on holidays when I travel. But I don't know which is the best place to eat here in Formosa. Really, I don't know. Maybe you have to recommend me one. But I don't like going out to dinner, for lunch, yes, you know, as David is a, uh, a chef, uh, he cooks deliciously, so um, when we travel, yes, because we are on holidays, but I am not used to going out uh, to restaurants uh, here in Formosa, really I don't know, yes, which one I could recommend, yes, okay, I'd rather ask, yes, okay, good, well, uh, if I have to say uh, a tourist, for example, yes, okay, uh, say it to a tourist, yes, tell a tourist. Good. Well, so um, let's go to pages 88, yes, and 89. And now we are going to describe, we are going to describe this place, yes, what are they doing, yes, okay, and what can you see there, yes. In the background, what can you see in the background, in the foreground, yes, uh, what are the people doing there, okay, so uh, in the foreground I can see palm trees, yes, there are some people playing football, I think, uh, in the background, yes, uh, it is a football pitch, in the background I can, I can see skate skyscraper yes okay skyscraper yes I can see more trees yes okay there are I think there are girls on the right uh, and two boys there um, yes and I wouldn't like to be there because I don't like playing football uh, but maybe my daughters would like to be there for walking and running Yes, and um, it says write a checklist on the things of the things you should think about when you are looking for somewhere to live. Yes, okay. I want you to uh, have a piece of paper. Yes, okay. Divide the paper in two, and I want you to think about the positive things and the negative things when when we are talking about a place about to about when we are talking about a place to live yes okay good so i want you to choose uh, to choose and make a list yes a place yes and make a list okay well so pause the video yes okay cost yes the taxes yes and everything the bills if you have to pay the rent is the rent uh, is uh, too high, yes, okay, it's very expensive, the location, yes, okay, the neighborhood, yes, if it is safe or not, yes, if it is a popular area, yes, okay, everything, yes, if it is very far, for example, if you have children, you always think about um, the distances you have to uh, make for going to school, yes, from your school, from your house to school, yes, to the city, city center, yes, okay, all the facilities, yes, okay, um, then if the property, suppose you are going to buy the property, if it is in good conditions, yes, okay, um, if it is attractive to you and to your family, uh, well, then if it is near the, the city center, because you, you have to uh, go to the, the restaurants, to the pubs, to the church, 
yes if it is near to a church if it is near to a cinema yes okay uh, what about uh, bus the bus the buses yes okay if it is near to a stop a bus stop yes so all these things yes we have to look at, we have to think about all the things when we are moving to a new place for example or choosing a place we are going to live yes in okay and uh, then what about the neighbors yes because what happens when you have when you go to live to an apartment for example and then you have noisy neighbors yes for example uh, when I lived in Mallorca uh, the woman that li lives uh, I have I lived in an apartment yes uh, in a block of apartments it's better to say yes and the, on the right there was a noisy couple and on the left well it was there was a big terrace it was it was ours yes and you know uh, upstairs oh my god I have never seen her but she was very 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 noisy yes uh, mainly uh, at midnight yes okay you can imagine everything yes but yes I could listen to the the sound of her uh, high heel shoes yes and uh, we were very young at that uh, time yes but we respect our we respected our neighbors but the woman the couple on the right uh, didn't yeah because they used to organize um, parties and everything and oh my god when Aldana was born that was a problem yes because you know when the baby was sleeping it was slept yes okay uh, we went oh my god <laughs> don't make noise yes because she said going to wake up but fortunately this didn't happen yes yeah, you know because Aldana slept and slept yes yes uh, I feed her and she slept yes all the night thanks God but we couldn't sleep because of the noise yes okay um, unfortunately our bedroom was very next to uh, the, their living room I suppose yes okay well so uh, we have to think about you have to think about all these features yes okay and then if you have a car what about the garage uh, if you like gardening if you uh, if you if it if the house has a, a garden a place for you to uh, make it a garden a place for uh, relaxing yes okay what about the balcony and if it is a cold play of course you have to think about the central heating yes okay so we i have talked about all these aspects yes for you to help to organize your vocabulary and speak at home yes okay then you are going to highlight the grammar chart that is here and we are going to do uh listening number uh, exercise five exercises a and b because we are going to repeat intonation, rising intonation and falling intonation. Do you like a cup of tea? Do you want coffee or tea? Do you want coffee or tea? So you have falling and rising intonation. Hay algunos que se les da mejor la parte de entonación, yes, y hay algunos que les cuesta, yes. But this is very important when you are talking, intonation, yes. So we are, I, I think this exercise, exercise uh, will help you, help you to um for your intonation intonation yes okay and then i want you to uh bring a paper and divide the paper in three like we always do in class when we the primary mostly but we are going to do like this and you are going to divide the paper in three and you are going to write prefer this is divided in three you know Prefer plus ing plus now plus to infinity. And you are going to write your own examples. I prefer relaxing at home. I prefer watching Netflix. 
when it is winter. I prefer my house. Yes, okay, I prefer uh, my best friend, Maria Angelica, rather than my ex-boyfriend. Yes, okay, I prefer summer rather than winter. Okay, then you have prefer plus two infinitive. I prefer to paint the house by myself. I prefer to finish this exercise now, not tomorrow. Yes, so you are going to write examples with the three of them. Then in the middle, all right, in the middle, you are going to I'd prefer, preferiria, plus a noun. I'd prefer a cup of coffee, please. I prefer vegetables than meat. I prefer to go with you. I prefer, I prefer to read a novel than watching Netflix. I prefer, I prefer go out. I prefer go out. Yes, okay, good. Well, so you have, um, let me check, porque no quiero meter la pata en ninguna de las, yes, de las structures, yes, okay, porque si les doy de más, yes, quiero que sean las que tienen en el classbook, tenía que irme al activity book, yes, wait, 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 Perdón, hay algo que anoté de más acá, que no tiene nada que ver. Yes, ya me parecía. Yes, nada que ver. La última que dije. No, 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 no. Me cerraba en esto. Yes, ok, I'm sorry. Yes, ok. So you have, I prefer, I prefer, plus noun. Yes, es la última, la que mezclé la gramática. Por eso leía y no me cerraba ni ahí. I prefer... Vegetables than, than meat. I prefer to eat with you, not with him. I prefer to study at home. And then, yes, you have I'd rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. And you have infinitive without to. Yes, I'd rather go. I'd rather study. Yes, okay. So you have I rather go. I rather study. I rather finish this exercise now. Okay? So, let's revise again. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay? So, I prefer going to school by car. I prefer soup than meat. I prefer to see you this afternoon. I prefer. Una es I prefer. La otra preferiría. Eh? I prefer chocolate than uh, ice cream. I prefer. I prefer to see you this afternoon. I rather. I rather go with you, not with him. I rather finish this exercise now. This is infinitive without two. Okay, is it clear? So you divide the paper in three and you write own examples. And then you go to the activity book and you highlight the grammar chart. Okay, but write your own examples first. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was a grammar that, oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay, well, so I need, we 
winter holidays. Yes, I don't know you, but I need winter holidays. Yes, okay. Well, um, shall we go to the chart? Yes, okay. So this is the way to organize. Write examples, your examples, as we do in class. Yes, okay. This is the part where I uh, repeat again this, okay? Be responsible. Responsible. Yes, be responsible. Do everything. Yes, write your own exams at home. Yes, okay, is it clear? Good. Um, then we have, I rather, yes, page, listen, let's go to the listening. Exercise three, and then we are going to go to exercise five. Track 58, Unit 7D. Good morning. Hi, I'm interested in any properties you have in the town centre. <coughs> okay, and is that to rent or to buy? Oh, it's to rent. I've just started a new job here, so I think I'd rather rent than buy, for now anyway. Right, well, we have quite a few flats on our system, from one-bed studios to four-bedroom apartments. I'd prefer something small, but not too small. I imagine I'll get a lot of friends staying with me. So, two bedrooms, and preferably with a lift. I cycle a lot, and I don't want to carry my bike up lots of stairs. Well, most of the modern buildings have lifts, but a lot of the properties in the centre are quite old. Would you rather look at new places or older ones? I don't mind. At this stage, I'm just getting an idea of what things are like here. Okay. So, you're new to the area? Yeah. I lived in a little village up near the mountains until recently. Oh, that sounds lovely. To be honest, I prefer towns to villages. The problem with a village is that everyone knows your business. Hmm. Maybe I'm unfriendly, but I like the way that in a town you don't know everyone. Ah, yes. I've heard a few people say that. To be honest, I prefer living here. I suppose I like my privacy too. Right, um, what about garage space? Do you need that? No, I haven't got a car. I prefer to walk or cycle. It keeps me fit. Of course, you mentioned your bike. Yeah, and anyway, in my experience, driving in town is a nightmare. I know, and it's getting worse. Okay, well, the next thing to consider is your budget and the rental period. Okay, well, so number three, if you want to listen again, you have to rewind the video and listen again. Rather, I'd rather rent than buy. Yes, I prefer something small, but not too small. So two bedrooms, and preferably with a lift. Would you rather look a new, look at new places or older ones? To be honest, I prefer towns to villages. Um, I must say, I prefer living here. I haven't got a car. I prefer to walk or cycle. Yes, okay, so now let's listen and you have to repeat. Yes, five, let's go to five. Track 59, Unit 7D. Would you rather live in a town or a village? Do you want coffee or tea? Do you want coffee or tea? So rising and falling intonation. Would you rather live in a town or a village? In a town or a village? Yes. Now we're going to go to the other listening and we're going to repeat. At home you have to repeat. Yes, okay? Track 60, Unit 7D. 1. Do you prefer playing football or basketball? Repeat at home. 
Two, would you rather have tea or coffee? You know, tea or coffee, coffee or tea. Three, do you prefer summer or winter? Four, would you rather go by car or by bike? Five, do you prefer maths or science? Six, would you rather eat fish or meat? Okay. Okay, well, repeat at home again, yes, and now I want you to go to page 89, yes, and you have streets and buildings, repetition, shops, facilities, local residents and atmosphere, yes, so you have to read the text, yes, where do you think it's from and choose one of the options from A to C, okay, do it, yes, right, now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer, and the answer is 1B, yes, okay, they use it, the text uses typical state Asian words and phrases, charm, yes, okay, within walking distance, good school, close by, prices are reasonable, okay, so I want you to highlight in the text, like, like, all the like you find, and us, okay, and then it says, sun Sand Gate is in the heart of the city and like many other. Then in paragraph two, for families there are great parks like Greenfield, as a person who lives. And then in paragraph four, Sand Gate seems to be perfect for, sorry, perfect both as a place to live in and a place to visit, yes, okay, so you have the uses of us, yes, okay, as a person you know, I must tell you, as a friend of yours, yes, okay, I am talking as a friend, yes, no, not as a teacher, yes, okay, and then you have like, yes, she is like many other people in the world, Yes, okay, in the world. Yes, is it clear? So you have the uses of us and like. Yes, okay. Shall we go to exercise six? Yes, go to exercise six. Yes, and try if you could understand us and like. Yes, okay. Do it, come on. Yes, okay. Number six. Ready? As a lifelong resident of my own, I take pride of our community. As a teacher, I will recommend to read this book. Yes, as you know, I miss you. Number two. I love modern shopping malls like this. Como estos, yes, okay, like this, it's ideal, yes, as a holiday destination, yes, okay, number four, our public library is like a palace, you know, like, similar to, yes, okay, is it clear, okay, Then we have number five, like all cafes, the one, the one in my village has a great atmosphere. Number six, the old buildings, like the town hall, are beautiful. Yes, okay. Sometimes you have like, as for example, yes, and you have like as similar to. Is it clear? You are like your mother. You have you you are 
Uh, you have both the same eyes. Yes, okay, similar too. Yes, okay. Um, I visited many places like the big, the small cathedral in the city center. Yes, okay. Uh, like the, the old cafes near the town hall, for example. Is it clear? So you will have like para decir, for example, or like para decir similar to. Yes, okay. As para decir un rol, as your mother, I will give you all the advice I want. Yes, okay. En el rol de. Yes, is it clear? Okay. Or uso también. Yes, okay. Good. Well, so I want you to highlight the words there. Oops. In exercise seven, it says you are going to write a description of your own neighborhood. Yes, okay, and you have a bit limited, under range, range of, close to, easy access to. Uh, from this neighbor neighborhood, I have a very easy access to different bus stops. Um, it's close to the city center. We have, I think, 10 blocks. Yes, uh, whenever I, when I was um, an adolescent, I used to go walking to school, to my school, uh, and to the high school too, the secondary school. Um, well, it is, uh, this neighborhood is a friendly neighborhood. Yes, okay. Um, well, it is uh, very close to a church too. There are a lot of, um, I'm very close to supermarkets and it's very close to uh, a hospital. Yes, okay. And you have to continue. Yes, organize your ideas first. Can we go first? Can we go to uh, the revision? I want you to do exercises one, two, three, four and six. One, two, three, four and six, okay? I will dictate you the keys, yes? So remember to do the activities um, and then listen to the answers, all right? So we are going to do one, two, three, four and six, okay? Bigger and bigger, number one, used to. Number three, was. Number four, used to play. Number five, better. Number six, as hard as. Number seven, didn't mind. Number eight, more often. Number nine, more and more popular. Number 10, the less, the active, the less active. To 11, less unhealthy. Exercise two, advantages. They could play more often. It's convenient. Disadvantages, they couldn't play as well, as well there as on a field and they couldn't kick the ball as hard as when they played outside. Number two, people spend a lot, a lot of time sitting at desk or in a car, and this means they are less active and feel, less active, active and feel healthy, less healthy, sorry. Number three, you have to hit the ball more carefully than on a normal golf course, Number two, you get closer and closer to the age. Three, you can practice as often as you want to. Four, you can play better up there. You can't play as well up there. Five, each day you reach the target more accurately. And six, the harder you hit the ball, the farther it goes or will go. Yes. Number four, igloo, eye glue. Yes. Rundown, three, neighborhood, four, residents, wait, igloo, 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 yes, okay, igloo, Okay, no, I do. Igloo, yes, okay. Four, residents, five, garden. The others are places where there are lots of home. 
homes, okay? Residents and the others are adjectives which describe cities, cities. Neighborhood, the others are type of home. Rundown, the others are things you find in the cities. And igloo, the others are things that homes are made from. Exercise six, go to prefer, I prefer, one. I prefer to go three I prefer four living five I rather six I prefer I prefer yes okay one B two E three C four F five A and six D okay so uh, remember to highlight the the the, um, the grammar chart in excess in unit seven yes okay War building, not only war building on page 59, but but also, yes. Prefer, would rather, and also, that's all. Yes, porque se vamos a entrar en otra cosa después. Okay, is it clear? So I want you to highlight this grammar and pay attention. Word building, you already know, yes, but prefer, uh, pay attention with the preferred section. Yes, okay, I prefer going to school by car. I prefer soup than, uh, than meat. I prefer to uh, finish this exercise now. I prefer to see you now. I prefer to talk to you now, not in the afternoon. I prefer, um, I would prefer um, pasta than uh, meat. I would prefer uh, to inform you that you won't pass the exam, yes, this afternoon, if you don't study, yes, okay? I would prefer um, to talk to you face to face not on the phone. Is it clear? I'd rather go now. I'm dying of hunger. Yes, okay, I'm very hungry. Yes, okay, good. Well, that's all, yes. I want you to do the homework, I want you to study, and I'm very happy that you uh, can watch this class, yes, okay? Bye-bye, see you next class, happy weekend. Enjoy your weekend and study for the next revision.